Hey, K1 Green Mountain Maniac. With a 20 meter Moxon build, I have a friend that's looking at building, possibly building a 20 meter Moxon rectangle wire beam. Uh, I'll just run through, try and do this quickly, how to run the software, get it installed, and to get to give you the dimensions for the beam, and I'll, I'll share how I I do mine, how I put, put up mine. I've built many of them. Uh, on all different bands, everywhere from 2 meters to, uh, good lord, uh, 75 meters. So, here we go. You go. Open your search engine, type in MoxGen, you'll see MoxGen, Moxon Antenna Project. Go ahead and click on this. And if you're on Windows, which I am, this is all I'm going to deal with. I don't even deal with this. Go ahead and download, right here it says Important. Go over MoxGen with OCX, OCX package. Go ahead and download and install that. Once that's installed, go down to your programs. Go in and go ahead and open MoxGen rectangle, Moxon rectangle generator. It's MoxGen calculator. Uh, right here, you want to put your frequency in. We're gonna do 14.1. And wire size is critical, so you need to know how big the wire size is. Uh, let's. Most people use 14 gauge, uh, so let's hit calculate. Okay, so you can either do it in. You can either have these dimensions presented to you in inches, feet, inches, meters, millimeters. I'm gonna just go ahead and do feet. So I'm gonna change this to feet. Okay. Let's go over a couple things about what you're actually looking at here. This is what the antenna looks like. Okay, This is the driver. The antenna fires this way towards A. Uh, this is the feed point here. The antenna fires up your screen. So that's the direction the antenna will radiate. Okay, This is the reflector on the back side. So if you're to just picture in simple terms, if you're to picture a two-element Yagi with the ends bent back, with a space between the ends, that's what you got. Okay. Um, so uh, let's if now let me handle the corners first. So what I use is I use plastic, some type of not, you can use any non-conductive material. You can even even use paracord or rope or anything on the corners to pull it up four corners up onto poles or in a tree in trees or whatever. The problem with rope is it's going to try and slip through here. Um, as it comes up under tension, it may pull and actually drag, move along this thing. You don't want it to do that. So what I do is I drill a, a hole, a hole just, just about the size of the wire, a little bit bigger than the wire. Put the wire through that hole of a piece of PVC tubing or something like that. Use that as an insulator, and uh, and then I wrap uh, some strong duct tape on each side of that insulator just to prevent it from sliding. Once it's up there and it stays there, it'll be fine. Um, the ends right here, this space is critical. This is C, 0.627 feet. You want to make sure that you get this as close as possible. You don't have to get crazy. This antenna, if you build it correctly with a, with a wire use, the wire you set in the calculator, it will be 50 ohms. It'll just work. You don't need an analyzer. You don't need a tuner, whatever. Um, and if it's a little off, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, so this is a critical point right here. You want to pay attention to this, this leg and this leg right here. Uh, B and D. Um, so the easiest way to do this is... Take A and add B to it. Let me grab a calculator. Okay, so let's do 25.442 plus 3.9 plus 3.9. Okay, that's 33.242 feet. So remember, there's two Bs here. You got this side and this side. So add those two together and add it to the front of the driver. Um, this will give you the OAL for the driver. Okay, now here's the catch. If you're using coated wire, let's say you've got 14 gauge 
copper coated wire, solid or stranded, you need to reduce the size of your elements because it changes the velocity factor with a coating on the wire. You need to reduce the size of the antenna by 2%. So the easiest way to do that is to take A plus B plus B, because there's two sides, add those together, 33.242 feet times, let me write this down, 33,242 times 2%. So that's 0.66, call it 5. Okay, so we put 33.2 for 2 minus 0 0.665, 32.57 or 58, 32.58 feet. This is what the length of this driver should be. Now remember, if you're using bare copper, you don't have to do anything because that's what this is designed to use is bare copper. So not a big deal, do the exact same thing for the reflector, reduce its overall size by 2%. Now if you're using steel or some other material, you're going to have to figure out what the velocity factor of that is compared to the copper. Okay, so uh, uh, that's basically it. And you can probably find that out online and just change your dimension. The spacing will stay the same, but cha just change the dimension. Reduce the reduce the overall sizes by two percent. If if you're using uh, steel wire, stainless steel, I have no idea. You can probably find that out online, but it's kind of a crapshoot because this generator, this calculator, is designed to work with copper wire. So there you go. I uh, hope that helps. Um, 7-3, good luck in your builds, and hope to hear you on the bands. The Maniac. The Maniac.